Hey, today's video is to show you how to sync with QuickBooks Online. Maybe you're new with our company and you came on using QuickBooks Online, or maybe you switched from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. Um, whatever the case is, this video will show you how to sync with QuickBooks Online as it is different than syncing with QuickBooks Desktop. So to begin with, what you're gonna see in front of you right now is the QuickBooks uh, maintenance menu. If you don't see this menu or you don't know how to get to it, it'll be the first thing you see when you first log in. If you don't see it, all you have to do is click the update QuickBooks button found right here in the ribbon bar and the menu shows up. Now, when you wanna sync with QuickBooks Online, you're first gonna click the button that says QuickBooks Online Sync Menu. And when you click that, you're going to see that your browser window will open up to the online QuickBooks sync menu. This menu will pull the information from QuickBooks Online and will um, bring the data over to the online database for your company. Your online database for your company is right over here. It'll be your company name. And then the MyCustomerConnect.com platform is where is our server. That's where the information is being brought, uh, brought to when you sync from QuickBooks Online. It's a two-step process. So if you were to push the button that says update only customers, uh, the system will bring the customers from QuickBooks Online to your, Quick, to your uh, online database on our server. To complete the sync, to bring it from the online server down to the desktop software, you would finish the sync using this option here again, update only customers. So as a recap, if you click the button here, update only customers, it will run through a sync. It'll take a minute or so, or 30 seconds or so, whatever it is. It'll let you know that's completed. Then you'll come back over here to the service program, and push up the only customers here as well to complete the sync. Um, if you click update only inventory here, then you repeat the process by pushing update only inventory here. In other words, any option you use on this menu is your first step, is the first sync, or the first half of the sync. Once it's done, you come back to the service program, locate the same exact table or option you did in the browser window and finish the sync up. Um, another example again would be if you were to come over here and click customers and click reload. Once that's done, you come back to the desktop software, locate customers and click reload. One more thing I wanted to point out is QuickBooks Online currently um, puts the customer's address on line one. Um, the service program will look for customer addresses on line two. So if ever you do a sync of customers and you notice that the customer list in the service program is not displaying addresses, I'll give you an example here. If for some reason you're missing location addresses right over here, the reason why, or most likely the reason why, is that QuickBooks has the address on line one, non -li not line two, like we see, for instance, in the customer profile here in the desktop software. The service program is looking to line two for the address. In the event that QuickBooks Online has the address on line one, all you have to do is go to the QuickBooks Online sync menu, go to settings, and right over here, tell the system to use line one and you'll click save. Upon doing that, you're gonna see that it'll say notice, address format has changed. P please use the dropdown and reload your customers. So after you make that change, you wanna make sure you come over here, select customers and reload. Once it's done, come back to the desktop software and repeat the process. You'll choose customers and reload. Once the sync is done, you'll see addresses properly show up on the customer on the customer list. That's all we have for you today. Have a good day, everybody. Talk to you soon.